Hello everyone and welcome to Riveting Creations. My name is Rivet and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking this serving tray that we got from the dollar store and turning it into a galaxy inspired rolling tray. We're going to be using spray paint. We'll be using Krylon all-in-one paint and primer. So make sure you have some gloves and some personal protective equipment like a respirator. The first thing I'm going to do with this with this tray is I'm going to put a black coat down on it just to give it a base for all the other paint to stick to. So I've already done that with this tray over here so we're just going to be switching these out. Doot, doot, doot. Trying to line that up. There we go. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to build the colors for our planet. We're going to be using some glossy grape, some purple, some red and some blue to build our planet. Hopefully it turns out real nice. Now I'm gonna put my mask on before I start spraying this down and I'll try and talk to you guys after I spray. So just uh, check this out. All right, first we're gonna be starting with the blue. Hopefully you guys can still hear me with the mask on. Make sure you shake it up really well. Just gonna put a couple layers on down. Nothing too much. Next we're gonna move over to the white. Shake it up. Put a little bit of layer down. And next we're going to do the red. There we go. That's pretty good. Next we're going to take a little bit of white and put that on top. And same with the black. Next, you want to get a piece of plastic or a piece of paper, crumple it up to make the texture for your planet. What you're going to do, um, mess it all up, put it on down, rub your fingers on it a little bit, and pull it right off. Didn't get a whole bunch of texture right there, so I might do another little, little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good right there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to let this dry before we put our planet stencil on. We're going to use this lid right here, we're going to put it right down on top of all this. But first we're going to put some highlights on the planet. Let's get the white. Put some over there. Get the black and put it down here. Now we just gotta wait for that to dry and we can put our planet stencil on. All right, now it's been a few minutes. I believe the paint is dry pretty much to the touch. So we're good to go and put our stencil on. So what you want is get a lid and you wanna cover up the part where you want your planet to be. You wanna make sure you get a little bit of the highlight in and a little bit of the shadow just so you have some definition with your planet. So let's go ahead and put that there. I think that'll be good. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the outer space part. We're going to black it out. Uh, we're going to put some color in it to make it look like a nebula. Then we're going to add our stars. Let me put my mask back on, then we'll get the spray in. All right, first we're going to start with the black. You don't want to put too much around the lid because you don't want the lid to stick to the tray. At least you want to minimize that anyway. So try and spray from, from, a, from about a foot or two away. Just put a nice little layer on. Nothing too, nothing too thick. Next we're gonna do the nebula. We're probably gonna put it over here in this corner. So let's start with some blue. Add a little bit of red to it. You want to mix the colors up just so I have some definition around here. We're going to throw some purple on as well.
Oh, it's pretty good. Now we're going to take... I'll take a plastic bag. We're going to lift some of this off. Just so that we can get some texture with it. Looks pretty good. Get some in this corner. Get some up there. Now you can do this a few times until you're happy with the results. There we go. I'm going to go in with the black a little bit more. Shade it in some. Maybe get a little bit of red up top. I just only get a little bit of splatter, but that's fine. We'll go in with another bag and lift that up a little bit. Alright, looking good. Put that a little bit of blue. You can do this as many times as you want until you're happy with the results. Get some blue down there. Let's get some more purple into this. Get the bag. Lay it down a little bit. Pull it on up. I'm sweating a little bit. It's hot down here in Florida right now. All right. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out right here. So the next time we, uh, the next step is we're going to be adding the stars. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the white spray paint. We're going to spray some spray paint on here. We're going to take our fingers. We're going to flick a little way. And then we're going to flick it at our canvas, which is our tray. So let's do that. Flick some away. Just flick them at that however you want. You want to flick some away at first because you don't want giant globs. Go ahead and add some more spray paint. You can do this as many times as you want. If you've watched, if you've seen any of the uh, pictures from the James Webb telescope, I, I, I highly suggest you go and check out some of those pictures. Man, there are so many stars in the universe. You cannot put too many stars on this. Let's add some more white. Let's flick that away. Try to go in different directions if you can. You get some more on the bottom right there. There we go. Get some up top. It's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with the way this looks. Oh man, look, I just put a giant glob right there. Not happy with that one. That's all right, we might be able to fix that. We might turn that into a giant star. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a little paintbrush. I'm gonna put some spray paint over here and then we're gonna take that spray paint and try to make a star out of it over here. Ooh, it's not, not one to work at all. So let's go with plan B. Let's put some blue on it. Some purple. What's great about using spray paint is that if you mess up, you can fix your, uh, you can fix your mess up pretty easily. Get some black over here. That looks pretty good. 
Let's go ahead and do the stars again on that side. Need to get another glove. I don't know about you guys, but I have the hardest time getting a glove back on, especially when my hands get a little sweaty. It's really hot out here on Ford. I'm working out in my, my backyard. So I'm gonna add some more white to this and I'm gonna do some more flicks. Looking pretty good. Let's get a little bit more on there. Not too much more though. Just a little more. All right, and I think that's looking really good right there, guys. That's where I'm probably gonna leave it. So go ahead and pull these gloves off because I got white all over them. Do you see that it gets through the glove a little bit on my thumb? It actually rips my glove when I'm flicking them like that. All right, so we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna pull this off and see what our planet looks like. Uh, as you see, sometimes I use my heat gun to try and set the paint a little faster. All right, now let's go ahead and pull our planet off and see what we got. Hey, that looks pretty good. I am pretty happy with this. Let's take this up here. Let's see if you guys see it. There's our planet, all of our stars. Nice looking piece right here. I really, really enjoy this one right here. All right, so what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna let this set for about an hour, maybe two hours, and then we're gonna go get some resin, and we're gonna seal this entire painting with resin. And then our rolling tray will be done. So I'll see you when this is dry. All right, guys, we are back. It's been a few hours, actually, it's been about six or seven hours. I had to go do a whole bunch of stuff with my kids. We had to go Halloween costume shopping, get them from school and stuff like that have dinner but it's now nighttime and we're going to be putting on the clear coat resin onto our rolling tray right here i wasn't happy up here at the top of the planet it was a little fuzzy so i put the stencil back on this guy put it right back on i sprayed a little bit more black to blacken up the top of that to make the planet a little bit more defined less fuzzy up top and i put some more stars down it's the only thing I changed since uh, we were last here. So now we have to do the clear coat with the resin. We're going to be using clear cast 7000. It's a one to one ratio resin. So you mix equal two equal parts and uh, it should come out crystal clear. It says to mix for three to five minutes and to do at least 50 grams per mixture. So we're going to do 60 because our cups measure by tens. So we're gonna do 30 in each cup of each. We're gonna pour them into this cup. Then we're gonna mix them up. I have this mixing wand. I'm gonna try this out. I haven't used it before, but uh, I was born with a heart condition. So sitting here and do like manual things a whole bunch makes my muscles tighten up because I can't get as much oxygen as normal people. So let's go ahead and mix these out. Always make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment, respirator, gloves. All right, first we're gonna do part A. We're gonna do 30 millimeters, milliliters. Let's go ahead and put these up here a little closer. It's really thick stuff here. All right, right there at 30. Go ahead and get the cap back onto this. 
Then we're gonna do 30 of part B, which is the hardener. This one's a little more liquidy than the, the resin. So it pours out a lot easier. And there we go, we got 30 of each. Put the cap back on. Make sure that cap's on there nice and tight. Don't want air to get into your product. All right, I'm gonna pour them both into this um, clear cup right here. But before I do that, I'm gonna put my mask on and then we're gonna stir them up for five minutes. I got my mixer. I got a silicone stirring stick right here to get the sides and the bottom. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as this is stirred up. Got a police siren going off in the background. Gotta love our lovely neighborhood that we live in. It's not that bad. But every once in a while you get you hear these sirens. Alright, this one's really sticky. Let's get as much of it in there as we possibly can. Alright, let's go with the hardener now. This will pour a lot easier. Boom, there we go. All right. There we go, now we're gonna take our stirrer and we're gonna stir this up for three to five minutes. All right, guys, let me take off my mask. I think it's stirred up pretty good. I, can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see in here, but man, it put a lot of bubbles into the resin. So I wouldn't suggest using the stir if you're doing stuff like jewelry or some or, uh, stuff where you don't want bubbles in. This, I think we'll be fine with this because we're gonna let this sit for about five five minutes or so. And we're gonna let the bubbles rise on out of them. And then we're gonna use a torch to pop the bubbles after we put it onto the tray. But if you're doing jewelry or, or a deeper cast, uh, I probably would not suggest using the stir. I'd do it manually and do it real slow. So let's leave this for about five minutes. Let these bubbles rise up and then we'll uh, pour it onto our tray. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes. Let me go ahead and move this tray down a little bit. And it is still really bubbly inside there. So hopefully when we pour this, we will be able to use the heat gun and the, and the torch and be able to get rid of the bubbles. So let's just go ahead and pour a little bit in here. We have our silicone brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. I had a hair on there. Go ahead and pour some of this right here in the middle. Now we don't want a huge thick layer on this. This is just to seal the product. So let's move it around. Move it all the way up to the sides. Kind of go up the sides a little bit. It's self-leveling. So you want to bring it up the sides a little. Go this way. Move it around, make sure we cover the entire tray. We got some moths flying around. I do live in Florida. And I am working outside on my screened in porch, but man, bugs still get inside here. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit and go on the sides. You wanna seal the top as well.
There we go. Get this in here. Just take your time. It's not a rush. You got plenty of time to work with this resin. Got a little hair right here. Get that guy out of there. There we go. Move it around. Bring it up. Like I said, we don't need a thick. We just need a coat. And if you drip some down, don't worry about that. You can always wipe it off. Make sure you're working on a silicone mat, guys. That may that way, if anything drips, you don't have to worry about it hardening on your table. If you don't have a silicone mat, just put put some paper or a sheet or whatever you don't care that gets messed up down underneath it. Because if you leave this on your table and it hardens, it'll stay there forever. All right, looking pretty good up here. Get around to this side. Just bring it right up to the edge and then I'm pulling it back. So it's not pulling up up here. We just want a nice little seal. Go all the way around the tray. Just make sure you go around. You don't want to miss any spots. These silicone brushes are really nice. It's better than a regular paintbrush because you can reuse these. All you have to do is wait for the resin to harden. Now you can peel it right off. I'm just going around the edge now. Pull any excess off that we don't really need up top. What's nice about these brushes, they're kind of concave, so you can get around and scrape some stuff off without it being knocked over the side. All right, looks good on the sides. Let's try and smooth it out down here. I might have to add a little bit more down here in the bottom just to make sure it covers everything. Looking really good. I'm gonna go over it with the heat gun, try to push it around with the, with the air, and also to puff those uh, microscopic bubbles. I'm still seeing a little, little bit of areas that don't have some resin, so let's go ahead and pour a little bit more just to make sure it levels itself out. Down here on the bottom. Don't want any missing spots. It's looking really good. Go ahead and pour some on this side.
All right, that should be good. Move it around over this area. It looks like it's starting to level itself out now. Just gotta go around, look at all the angles so you see where the light's reflecting. Maybe get a little bit more in certain areas. Make sure there's no dimples. It's starting to look really good. I think that's perfect right there. So let's go over it again with the heat gun. And then we'll hit it with a torch. All right, that's looking good. Let's get the torch out and do a run over with this. The torch is definitely getting those bubbles out. Probably can't see them with the camera. All right, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with this, guys. All right, so what we're gonna do, make sure you have something to cover your project up with, because you don't want any bugs, you don't want any hair, you don't want any foreign objects landing in this resin while it's still wet. So we're gonna cover this up, nice and safe, and keep it safe like that. And then we're gonna check on it in the morning. So I'll be back guys, when it's ready to go. Alrighty guys, good morning. It's been about eight or nine hours since we poured this. We're gonna be checking it out. We got some construction going on, so if you hear a bunch of banging, that's what that is. All right, so let's pull this off, see what it looks like. Man, this looks good. Nice and glossy. There's no blemishes on it. I like it. Feels real nice. Like it feels like a sturdy, sturdy tray. I love the way the colors look. I think this one turned out really well. I see one little hair right here that snuck in there somehow. And there's a little white speck. Don't know if you guys can see a little white speck right there. I don't know what that is. Other than that, I think it turned out great. See all of it down there. I really like sealing this up. It makes it feel professional. I think it's professionally done. I think I got a bug crawl on me. I really like it, guys. So that's our, uh, that's our galaxy tray. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'm sure you're new because it's a brand new channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope to see you back for some more videos. We're gonna be doing more of these. We're gonna be doing different stuff. We're gonna be doing a lot of space stuff. I really like space. Here's another uh, tray I did before I didn't film this one, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna seal it up today later. 
And then uh, we're going to be doing some more stuff with resin as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.